Hey guys, thanks for clicking in. Real quick, I want to go over how a football, I talked to a good friend of mine up in Maryland, uh, Paulie Schwartz, one of the coaches up at Calvert Hall High School up there in Baltimore. We talked about using a football and how we use that to help us train our arm in baseball. So that you guys know how a football can be used, when we throw the baseball, quick little synopsis, when the elbow call is coming up, that's called an abduction. It's going away from the arm. And then we externally rotate, and as we rotate, the arm moves this way. That's called supination, like a cup of soup. So my arm goes this way, and then my chest comes forward, and then I internally rotate, and then I release. This is called pronation. So the supination and the pronation are two different angles that our arm does, and that's what we work with the football. One of the drills that uh, I told Paul about is we get our elbow, and we take our elbow, and this is through top velocity. Top velocity has taught me this. Get your elbow above your shoulder. Come down here a little bit. The football is pointed that way. When I take it back, I point it backwards, and I get it back, and then come this way. So I go one, two, three, and then when I throw it, I reach out in front, spin it out, and try to hit the person that's about maybe eight yards in front of me, right in the chest or down low. Because what it promotes, it promotes when the arm comes back, it externally rotates, it's coming back. It's also supinating. So supinating is turning this way. That's why we turn the points back. And if you supinate, that's the action. The opposite action of that is when I let it go and if I pronate, and pronation is very, very healthy on the arm. If I pronate and throw a spiral and come here, it, pr it promotes that really good pronation in the throw. So this angle where you go one, two, three, foom, and then let it go, it really helps supination and pronation of the arm. And that's one of the last things that happens on the arm before you release the ball out front of your nose. So guys, just a little tip. Just remember we have that camp coming up next week, March 12th through the 6th. We'll be going over some of these things. Look at the flyer below. Hope you guys can make it out. Nuke out.